é uma falácia dizer que a Amazônia é patrimônio da humanidade e um equívoco, como atestam os cientistas, afirmar que a Amazônia, nossa floresta, é o pulmão do mundo. Ela não está sendo devastada e nem consumida pelo fogo, como diz. This week, the president has admitted to asking the president of Ukraine to take actions which would benefit him politically. The actions of the Trump presidency revealed the dishonorable fact of the president's betrayal of his oath of office, betrayal of our national security. Voy a una visita oficial a Rusia a encontrarme con nuestro amigo, el compañero presidente Vladimir Putin. It is a, a trope as old as literature that any scientific advance is punished by the gods. When Prometheus brought fire to mankind in a tube of fennel, as you may remember, with his brother Epimetheus, Zeus punished him by chaining him to a Tartarian crag while his liver was pecked out. I talked about a hangover cure. His liver was pecked out by an eagle, an eagle, and every time his liver regrew, the eagle came back and pecked it again. And this went on forever. A bit like the experience of Brexit in the UK. if some of our parliamentarians had their way. Jack Ma, one of China's richest men, a giant in tech, a man who has stood side by side with presidents, loves kung fu novels, always has. It's a genre called wuxia, and he says they teach valuable lessons. Whatever you want to be a great people, a great company, you have to work very hard. You have to suffer a lot of, uh, you know, terrible things wrongs and terrible things before you be a hero. It's a spiritual, it is spiritual. And think out of box. You have to think out of box to win. And win he has. It's been 19 years since he co-founded Alibaba and the company that began in a Hangzhou, China apartment has grown into one of the largest internet companies in the world. In 2014, Alibaba's $25 billion IPO was then the largest in U.S. history. Ant Financial, the company's finance subsidiary, has invested billions of dollars in companies around the globe. Alibaba's e-commerce sites have fundamentally changed the way hundreds of millions of people shop in China, and its mobile payment platform revolutionized how people pay for what they buy. All the while, Ma has arguably become the most public face of China's tech boom, a charismatic, often inspiring figure for ordinary people, nicknamed Papa Ma on Chinese internet. Ma has faced his share of criticism, of course. Critics say his company merely copied eBay and thrived only because the Communist Party wanted it to. China's protectionist policies, so the argument goes, ensured that Alibaba had no real competition, making its rise not only easier, but in some ways inevitable. There is some truth there, but no matter your view, the facts remain. Alibaba is a juggernaut of a company, and its leader is routinely mentioned in the same sentence as other deities of tech, think Jobs, or Musk, or Gates. And like Gates, Ma says life's about more than a job. Can you imagine yourself sitting back, relaxing? No. I have so many, the education, environment, and going around the meeting, the entrepreneurs. Oh, and I did a lot of things. Life is so fun, and the net, net, never ever focus on one thing. We come to this world not to work. We come to this world to enjoy life. This is what I believe. Ma has said he wants to focus more on philanthropy. The former English teacher has always focused on improving education in China. And as for his company, widely considered to have a deep management pool, he told CNN in 2016 that whenever he does step down, it will be in good hands. 
Tomorrow is more difficult. The day of tomorrow is beautiful, but most people die tomorrow evening. So we have to realize that good thing can never be achieved easily. Life is not about only about Alibaba. I have run my first row, first 100 meters. I should giving this to the next generation. Matt Rivers, CNN, Beijing. Thank you.